We have a new project going in right now, and I'll just kind of share it with you a little bit. We're well into this project, but it's kind of interesting. It's going to be a great, great situation, I promise you. It's going to be absolutely great. This is our uh, old water system right here, and uh, this is where we get our water. This is where we get our water. As you look at the lake out there, down through the trees, you can see that we have an unlimited supply of water. Unlimited supply of water. Close as I can figure, about 2.6 billion gallons. That's a lot of water. 130 acre lake, 50 some odd feet deep at the deepest, a lot of 20 foot water, a lot of 30 foot water. And this is our pump house. We call it a well house just because we're rednecks and we always call things like this well, uh, well houses. All that's got in it is it's got some, it's got some uh, filters that, uh, and a bunch of PVC pipe work that we use to filter our water. We draw our water right out of the lake. The redneck lock there on that. When you open this up, this is what's inside. We've got some charcoal tanks right there. Got a big water tank there. That's a filter that I uh, probably need to change that filter out. Comes over here and goes through another filter, another electric filter, and then another filter, and then finally goes to the house. And by the time it gets there, it's really, really good water. Now, this is kind of tight quarters, you can see. And now we've had problems. We've had this thing blow up and all of this PVC freeze and just go crazy. We keep a, uh, a heater in here as long as we have electricity. But if we lose electricity, we lose the heater. Uh, but we've got that problem pretty much solved right now because we do have a generator now. But uh, you've seen me, uh, you've seen this blow up over here in my face, changing that water out. And I mean... Uh, working on it and it blew up in my face and just soaked me. You've seen that happen. And uh, we've been out here working on this in 12 and 14 degree below zero. And this is our old pump house. And it's worked well for years. We have lots of water. It's very expensive water. It costs a lot of money to keep this up. So it's expensive water, but we have lots of it. Now, got a redneck lock back up there. Got that door locked. You see this tank sitting over there. That tank is sitting there because when the lake was dry, we had no water. And so what we actually did is we hauled water from our other lake up on the hill and our house is up there over that hill. It's pretty good ways, probably 300 yards at least. We run, we hauled, we had a tank just like this, a 1500 gallon uh, water tank that we bought at, you know, tractor supplier somewhere. And uh, we had this 300 gallon, we had this 1500 gallon tank we had another one up there and we would haul water in a water trailer that had a tank on it just like that, dump it in that tank up there and then we would let it run by gravity into this tank here and we run water from that over to this filter system, re, re plumbed everything and that's how we had water for the, uh, well, from May until almost December while the lake was dry. So several months, this is how we did our water. We hauled it behind a tractor and it is harrowing in these mountains to be going up and down these mountains with 1,500 gallons of water behind you. That's several thousand pounds of water. And it was spooky to say the least. Boys and girls, from this to our new water dock. <laughs> That's my partner house, Steve's partner's house over there, Steve Wells. You can see Apache's over there helping like he always is. And that is our new water dock. And it's gonna be very, very nice. Uh, they've been built that up in town and installed it in down here. We've got uh, uh, that that uh, uh, big boom you see up there with the winch on it. That will hold the uh, water pump, so we'll be able to pick that water pump up out of there and clean it, do whatever we want. You can see we've got rails down the side of it, so it's going to be very, very safe. Actually, I think it's going to be even a little bit further out in the lake than it is right there. And uh, it's going to be a floating dock. It's going to be very stable, very easy to work on. Hopefully we won't have to work very much on it. Now, what we'll do there, and you can see him working over there. That's, that's Aaron, Steve Wells' son. Uh, he's like Jamie, my son. He can do everything. He runs all kinds of great equipment, and uh, they, they're in the equipment business, so uh, they, they, they're, they're not in the equipment business. They're in the business of buying a lot of great equipment and using it in their highway business. But you can see over there, and it's hard to see, but right through the trees right there, it blends in with that building because it's the exact same color. I'll go over there and let you look at that here in a minute. But that will be our new pump house. And actually, we pump water from here over to Steve's side of the, this pocket. And we're gonna do it just the opposite now. We'll pump the water up there. We'll run it through the system right up there. 
and I'll take you over there and look at that here in just a second. But we'll run it through there, then we'll pump it back over and hook it into the water lines that go up to my house. So it's a pretty complicated little system. It's really relatively simple, but it's very, you know, great water. Once we, and we're probably gonna buy all new tanks. We've been talking about that. I'm pretty sure we'll buy all brand new tanks, have a brand new system in there. If we have to work on the system now, we're gonna be up in that nice little building right up there. We have to work on the pump or any of the uh, pipes or anything. We'll be down there on a nice dock. So we are upgrading the situation here a bunch. And I'm thankful because when you have problems, it's either 110 degrees or 10 degrees or even minus 10. Well, as I head down toward the water pump and the mule, I see that I have a big bunch of turkeys right there walking through the woods. Just thought I would zoom in on them and take a look, quick look. They're not going to hang around very long. In fact, they're just about gone. Zoom in on them there. Not too wild. I guess they're pretty much all gone over the hill there. I was going to be able to take a nice little picture of them. They got them just over a little rise and stopped. When they got something in between me and them, they felt pretty safe. There they are right there. Nice little bunch of turkeys. I just love it. I mean, anytime I see any wildlife, I just love it. That's just all there is to it. What can I say? What can I say? I'm just a redneck that enjoys it. That's a pleasant sight. I don't care who you are. Okay, this is our new well house or pump house, I guess we should be calling it. How you like that little Stanley right there? They quit making those, you I think. I know I did. That's the best thing. I love them. I got three of them. I wish I had a couple more. They quit making them. I know. I don't know why. We probably won't make any money on them. Now, we're going to buy all new equipment, right? Everything will be brand new. Fantastic. All the new filtration. The, everything is brand new in here. But these three lines here are what we just found down there. Uh huh. You put them in. If you remember, I, I poured, remember when he put them in. Yeah. I, uh, when I poured the sidewalk and the pro slabs, we right. put this right. with this in mind. Then uh, this is the new pump controller. He's got two wall heaters, um, and it will have strainer filters. Uh, is this the same as our big blue tank over there, except yeah, that's smaller? It. All that does is a pressure tank. Right. That, so you don't have to. So it doesn't doesn't pump. have to be that great big one then. No, it just no. cycles. This is a variable speed, so it won't. And I guess we'll have pretty close to what we got. I mean, pretty close to the same type systems, that updated and modern. Oh, it won't be anything like what we got. It'll be so much better. Than <laughs> okay, that. I'm yeah. for I'm for better. I'm for better. Well, and if something does go wrong, we got a little room to work in here too. It'll be warm, and you yep. don't have all the insulation hanging down and uh, everything else. So I'm excited about it because uh, I know it's still 100 degrees almost here in the end of September, but but it will it'll change, and when it changes, it'll well, get all cold. All this is temporary. It'll get changed to permanent. That's what we've been running right. the old pump house on right. when we pulled all new wiring and right. everything. So it'll all be. Brand new. It's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. That's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, that's a little bit of an upgrade on the dock as we look over to our old one. Okay. Through the that trees. One, if you recall when the water gets up you have to wait. You have to wait in it. That's what I was over walking on a minute ago. I said what we're walking on right now usually has water on it <laughs> over the top of it. You wait it you wade out to it. Uh, when you go to to uh, big ponds that's got yeah. the fountains and yeah. all in them. Yeah. That's what they, that's what they use. And so so we, we'll just put that on the end of that big pipe right there, right? right. To keep, will, keep all the grass and, and stuff the around it. will slide down in it. Yeah. Uh, I can show you the pitless adapter that if, I was talking about. We're 90 about. inches deep out there right now, though. I mean, that's, that's going to be nine foot. And of course, the pipe, how far? 90 is, inches is not nine foot. Well, it will when the water comes up, it will be. <laughs> when the water comes up, it will be. Here's the pitless adapter. The pump will slide down inside there and hooks onto that. Right. This is where the line will go underwater, and we're going to dig out into the to the lake so that it doesn't freeze. Right. Cool. Hopefully. Cool. Hopefully. Well, best laid plans, but I think it's pretty good plans we got. 
There's I'm, the yellow sand barrel. That yeah, we got I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like Jamie. Jamie says, "Let's try it this way." I'm, I'm, I'm ready to try it that way. Because and Aaron's, Aaron's the same way. He's, if he says we'll try it this way, we'll try it. Well, he's, we went, you know, he has a water well at home, and I have a water well at home, and of course, you know, they're regular wells. But he went over to the place that we buy all that stuff from, repair stuff, and talked to him about it, and that's what that's they what come we come up, up with. with. That's good. Well, hopefully we'll never have another drought like this one. Of course, this one's a long way from being over it yet. A bit that way. I could tell by the sand backfield that's where it was. So you knew exactly. That's why he dug, got down and got right beside that line, perfectly right beside that line. Let him do all the digging forever, and then I finish it up. Yeah, you found it, didn't you? I get the glory of finding it. <laughs> yeah, I think he put the sand tub up here, so you just come in. I don't want to be in the no. If I do that, then I, when I tie onto that line and this other line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a better plan. You want me to dig just a little bit more so you have the, room uh, to... The comparison yeah, of we'll definitely need your to. old water deal compared to what we built <laughs> is... I was just over there on that dock comparison, comparing that at a, at a distance. I'm going to walk that down there. Yeah, I just shooting that video down there and explaining the uh, workmanship and everything on that dock. And also our pump house. Or well house, I call it, even though it's not a well, it's just a pump house, I guess you call it now. But uh, as to what we are, what we're gonna have, what we're gonna have. You'll find that electric, you'll see it make a nice spark. I can find them with drills. <laughs> I think everybody finds them with drills, don't they? Now, you watch him operate that, and that looks like a real simple deal. And can I tell you, probably if everybody's standing here, nobody even could come close to operating it the way he's operating it. Not even come close. I tell you what, we would not be standing this close if I was operating it. I know that. Everybody would be... We're in Murray County right now, and I would be in Carter County if you got on. <laughs> If, it, if he gets, what if I get on it? You gonna run? That's what I mean. I'd get in Carter County. <laughs> that's how close. That's how far I'd want to be. I don't blame you. Eventually, I'd get down there, but I bet we'd have some busted, busted water lines. Well, we do have a nice dock now for our water, and it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be about. I think it's about. 100 inches deep, 90 inches deep, something like that, down off of the end of this. Uh, that hole right there is where the uh, pump will go in. And uh, that big piece of PVC that you see up there. And uh, it will be, it's got about 90 inches of water under it right now. And of course, the lake is about probably 35 or 40 inches uh, down. So it's gonna make a pretty, pretty, pretty big difference. Hopefully, we're going to be able to pump water here, go through that, and then pump it all the way over and up the hill to our house, and hopefully have just as much pressure as we have right now. Okay, you can see that we've got this, this phase finished. Now, we have not put any of the uh, filtration units and all that up there, but you can see that we've got this all done. Everything's tied together. Everything's tied together, and we've actually pumped water out of here. We've actually pumped water, and this dock is finished. It's bolted down. It's going to be here no matter what. Obviously, the water's quite a bit lower, but still, it's way back from the edge of the water, so we won't have to worry about anything. Even on a flood situation, this is going to be good. As we walk out here on the dock, and besides that, they got a great place to fish. Come right out here and catch your limit right out here. What is the limit on Twin Eagle Lake, anyway? There are no limits. We throw them all back. <laughs> Don't throw them all back. But we come out here and we've got the pump, and you can see, I mean, this is a really high dollar, fancy, well-constructed, well-engineered unit. This is our pump right here. You can see it's completely down underneath. We don't have to worry about the beavers uh, eating the wires in too. Might have to do something with this up here. I don't really know. That's probably still coated, so they probably can't, can't eat through that. This is a big, heavy water pump that you use in a well. It's, in, it's in designed to be used for the purpose we're using it for here. And you might ask, what is the winch for? It's when I catch a really big one. I catch a really big one, I can hook this right here in his mouth and winch him out of the lake. Yeah. <laughs> I have caught some big enough, you know. I caught one way 
380 some odd pounds with Roland Martin one day down in Florida. This witch is to pick this up. Do we have anything we want to make anything gets clogged up in there? Uh, the grass gets around it. And keep in mind, the lake right now is as low as it's ever been since we re rebuilt it back. And it's lower than it was before the dam broke early because we just have not had any rain in 18 or 19 months. But you take this off right here. You can fasten the deal right there. It's got a hook on it. And you take this and you just pick that right up. So if you need to work on it, you're going to have it right up here. So it's really pretty, pretty, pretty handy. Pretty well constructed, well engineered, well designed, well built. We still have to do that part up there. I'll explain that once we do it. But you could look over here at good Oklahoma City, Oklahoma University educated engineers, Aaron Wells and Steve Wells, his dad, that built this. Mostly Aaron, mostly Aaron. And then you can look over at Jimmy Houston's redneck dock. <laughs> About the same look like to me, just to be honest with you. Guys and girls, as soon as we get that other finished up there, maybe another month or so, I hope we get it done before the weather starts freezing. But this is our new water system. We thought you'd enjoy kind of watching a little bit as we built this thing. Remember, be sure to love you.